I'm about to go down and get some breakfast. Just had a quick shower. Last night I had a bath. I don't take baths, but there's a bath here. So I thought, why not? And it was so lovely. I just sat and read in it. I only brought one book with me, which is a hilarious book. And I finished it on the flight here. It's called XOXO. Kath gave this to me. It's like a K-pop um, like romance. It was a really, really quick and fun read. But then I realized I had no books. Um, but I picked some up from, I think I might take you guys there today, a bookshop in a booth. So I'm also just on the fun reads. I'm halfway through um, Lauren Ho, Last Time Standing. This is the bookstore and they give you 50% of the cash back if you bring the book back, which is really nice, especially if you're traveling and don't want to carry books around and feel bad leaving them. so much more than I was expecting from sculpture, painting, to like contemporary art. I love that there's so much storytelling, especially in the painting, that you could stare at them for hours and they're so detailed. I don't know much about like Hindu or Buddhist epics, but the captions kind of cover the basis of the context, which was really nice. And I felt like I actually learned a lot about the culture as well as like seeing the style. Anyway, it was meant to start storming and it hasn't started storming. So I'm gonna take this a good sign and maybe go to one of the cafes um, a little bit outside Ubud and grab another bike. Do that. <laughs> well, I know some, some people get self conscious after they are bringing out like a vlog or like a DSLR. Yeah. 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 That's funny, I was thinking, I was like, that would be a really nice frame, and then you just took it out. Give us a wave. or more so good afternoon because it is like 12 o'clock kind of lunch time um, I am in a beautiful new Airbnb in Ubud and this place is like 15 years a night it's actually insane but basically like before I did this trip I just had like my first few nights of accommodation boats and it kind of stressed me out because I was expecting to come here and have like the trip all planned but I'm actually so happy it worked out this way. So I think I'm gonna be here for a few more days before I maybe go to Lemongan. Um, and then I know I have to see Changu at some point. I've been trying to practice in Bahasa, but I wasn't raised bilingual, so I actually don't really know anything apart from like Maga, Salamabagi, um, Tumukasi. I think I'm gonna walk into town, maybe grab a bike and um, take you guys to the bookshop. And I also wanna check out a few clothing stores. Yeah, oh, I'm actually wearing this set from Nippy Studios. Anyway, let's go. I 
came to this vegetarian restaurant in 2018 and I have been dreaming of the satay ever since. route to a rice field that is walking distance from a food um, because I could get a good check or a grab into the countryside but then I'd be slightly worried about getting home. It's actually such a nice day today. Last time I was in Bali I did go to the kind of touristy Teglalong rice fields. They were so beautiful so I would recommend but I know it's gonna be super busy. Um, and I just wanted something kind of close by. myself in the rice paddy so fun and games until it got dark and I can hear everything outside and it's thunderstorming <laughs>
thank today's sponsor of the video, Squarespace. They are the online platform for helping you create beautiful websites and hosting your online presence. I feel like with a lot of you having diverse interests, maybe being a multifaceted creative or juggling different jobs and passion projects, having one website where you can create an online portfolio is such an amazing way to show off who you are. I know nothing about coding or creating a website, but Squarespace have thousands of customizable and aesthetically pleasing templates that just make it so easy. If you're looking to start selling your art or products, Squarespace have all the tools to help make your site successful and also to connect with your audience and customers from mailing lists to members only spaces and also connecting all your social medias automatically. And yeah, creating a website shouldn't be stressful. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial. You can start playing around with your site. You can test out different colors, what images you're gonna use, different templates. And when you feel like you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com slash moya to get 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website.